Okay, so now we know we can grab an ID number, and that's really all we needed in order to run this delete Ajax stuff, um, for lack of better words. Um, because we're just going to run a query that says, you know, delete from pages where ID is equal to ID. Now we're going to need to remove that DEL underscore from each ID when we run this, of course. But uh, let me show you how we kind of set up Ajax. So we're going to go ahead and create a new folder. So hop over to Aptana, right click on the uh, admin folder, click new folder, and we're just going to call this Ajax. And then in here, we're going to right click and do new, and we're going to create a file. Uh, we'll just call this pages. Okay, so this pages file is where we're going to write out our queries in PHP. And to give you a better understanding of what's going to happen here, because I haven't really explained that if you don't understand what Ajax is yet, we're going to run a method in jQuery. Whenever that button is clicked, that's going to come over here into this Ajax folder, open up the pages.php, and run it. And this is all going to be done behind the scenes. There's no page reload or anything like that, so it's going to be immediate. So we kind of need to write a little script here to tell it what to do when this page has been called upon, or this document, this file, pages.php. So it's, it's worth noting, though, that this thing is kind of independent from our site, in a way. We don't have any of the resources that we've set up on the other pages. So we need to add those things. Uh, most importantly would be the database connection. So we need to go back a folder, dot, dot, slash, config, slash, connection, dot PHP. Okay, so now we have that resource. We have that DBC variable that holds all of our connection information. Now we're going to need to retrieve the data we're going to send to this page whenever that button is clicked. So let's save this. Let's go ahead and go back to the js.php. Let's comment out this alert. We might use it to debug later. And we're going to run what's called git here in uh, JavaScript, jQuery. And that's done by doing this. Dollar sign dot git and then parentheses. And what this allows us to do is send information to another page or file. In this case, it's going to be our pages.php. So in quotes here, we need the path to that file. So it's going to be ajax slash pages.php. So this is a good start, but it's not really doing anything. All it's going to do is open up this pages.php and that's it. So we need to actually do something, and to do something, we need to send it some information. So let's send it that ID number. So here at the end here, uh, .php, question mark, ID equals, and then we need to send it that ID. So in jQuery, or JavaScript in general, the way to concatenate is a little different. We're going to use a plus symbol, plus, and then we're just going to spit out uh, selected or that selected variable so now we're going to be giving pages.php some information which means we can do something with that information so let's save this and let's come over here and what we're going to do is just do a really quick test and we're going to use some tools. Uh, we're going to use Firefox uh, to to run this test. So let's do this. Let's just echo out. Get ID. So this is going to work the same as any other page we've created. We're able to send things up to the URL and retrieve them. And we're sending those things through the URL here. 
So make sure these are both saved, and then we're going to open up Firefox. Now, Chrome actually has some really good tools for this stuff, but uh, for some reason I've just always liked Firefox's uh, Firebug tool uh, better than the options available for Chrome. So if you have Firefox, make sure you download Firebug. It's free. And then once you have that downloaded, open up your page, click on the bug icon here, and we get this little uh, panel down here. Now, in order to see what's going on here with uh, the JavaScript, we need to enable that. So come over here to Script, click on Reload, and now that's enabled. Let's go up here and make sure we're in Admin. See, now we're getting some information down here, which uh, we may have to address these later. So we're in our admin, let's click on pages, and let's go ahead and click on our delete button here. And if all goes well, we should see something pop up down here that shows us that that git has run. There you go, see? And what's cool about this is it shows that yes it ran, and it kicked back the message okay, so it did run correctly. You can see the URL, so our ID was passed correctly, del underscore two. Then we can click on this, and we can see some results here. So if you click on the HTML, this is going to show us what would be kicked back if we went to this page. And we've got some errors. So that's what this is good for. Um, but at the end of the day, what we wanted actually happened here. Here's our echo. It seems like the error is involved with uh, where I sent this to look for our connection. So we'll fix that next, but uh, the, the test worked. So now we have that information and we can start running stuff with that. Let's just go ahead and do this again just to show you that this page, you see like the page is not reloaded. Click on this one. We send it the uh, new ID. Click on this one. So this is all live going on behind the scenes. And this is kind of how you use Ajax to create websites that feel more like software and less like a website, which is really cool.